Hello and welcome to Miss Hannah Loves Grammar. In this video we'll be answering the question, how can we change voice from passive to active? This is probably the most critiqued question out there in terms of grammatical accuracy for students writing essays, for people writing job applications and most importantly for those individuals who want to make a point and say it clearly. Let's take for example a passive voice statement that is very difficult to understand. Highly tailored sessions on the new features were designed by engineering staff. It might sound clever, but it's very unclear. And so the passive voice here seems wrong. In order for us to change the passive voice to the active voice, we have to follow two simple steps. First of all, step one, identify who or what completes the action of the sentence. So the verb of the sentence is designed and I want to know who completed that action, who designed the thing that was created, these sessions. Well, the first thing that we see in the sentence, the first mention of a thing is the session. But in fact, if we look further on in the sentence, the engineering staff are responsible for designing the session. So now I should rewrite this sentence focusing on the engineering staff. So instead of ending with the engineering staff, I could say something like this. Engineering staff designed highly tailored sessions on the new features. The biggest focal point here that makes this sentence active is the fact that I put the engineering staff, the, the genuine subject of the sentence, at the start and they're the genuine subject of the sentence because they are responsible for the action that happens in the sentence. They designed the highly tailored sessions on the new features. That is what makes this new sentence active. That process might seem challenging, but it's two steps that we're now going to employ with our own examples. Now it's your turn to rewrite the sentences below into the active voice. They are all currently in the passive voice. Why not hit pause if you need thinking time? So, fizzy water was drunk by Luigi. Luigi is the real subject. He is the one who completes the action of the sentence by drinking the fizzy water. So the best way for this sentence to become active is to put Luigi at the start and say, Luigi drank fizzy water. As you'll notice again and again with these examples, by converting the passive to the active, we cut down on words. And that's part of the reason why people in academia and in life enjoy individuals who Write and talk in the active voice. It's easier to follow for one thing. The city was brought to a standstill because of the snow. So with this sentence, the real subject of the sentence is snow. Snow brought the city to a standstill. Snow is the reason the city stood still, albeit metaphorically. The breakfast will be made every day by Fred. This sounds like something that we would hear if we went to a hotel or a bed and breakfast. And instead, we're being introduced to an individual. The real person who's making the breakfast every day is Fred, so it makes sense to put him as the subject of the sentence. Fred will make breakfast every day. The fourth sentence sounds quite poetic but it's written in the passive. Her eyes were filled with tears. Instead, it could become tears filled her eyes. Just to streamline a few words down. When I say gaming is loved by Johnny, 
That's incredibly passive. Instead, if I said Johnny loves gaming, what I'm emphasising is his passion for his hobby. There's no denying it. The active voice is the simplest way to be clear, coherent, and more than anything, professional and slick. It's really important to try and minimise our usage of the passive voice because it can overcomplicate our thoughts or our ideas. And as we see with sentences two or three that we'd commonly associate with number two with the weather or number three with staying in a residential environment or a hotel, these are phrases that come about because people are trying to sound more sophisticated. But unfortunately, if you misuse the passive voice, you just sound confused. So when in doubt, make it simple and think, how can I be as active in my writing and speaking as possible? Remember the two rules. Think who should the real subject of the sentence be? and then move them to the front of the sentence. That's the surefire way to ensure you're writing actively, not passively. Good luck, and remember, active is the way to win. Why not subscribe to Miss Hannah Loves Grammar for all things English, literary, and grammatical.